Yeah, Liz. How, how does it affect the medium being so influenced? Like, how, how they recover from that? Like, um, what do you mean, how will we recover? Well, you know, like... The main thing is that well, a guy is crying sense. because of the grief that they feel is very similar to some grief that Di needs to feel. So as a result of that, Di's feeling her own feelings too. You know, like there's, a, there's a sympathetic emotion between the two. So the reality is that it should be, it's fine for Di if she just allows herself to cry and, and feel. Do you remember what kicked it off, uh, the grief? Yes, that's correct. So it's the feeling that Di has of disappointing her parents um, that Di is actually feeling, um, and that's they are able to project all this sadness through her because of that feeling that Di does need to feel, and she is. That's what she's feeling, really. I suppose I was wondering about the spirit being attached to her even more because she's alive. No, if Di feels this grief, the spirit will be out, won't be able to attach as much. And anyway, the spirit um, had less of a desire to attach anyway after that discussion. So yeah, the likelihood of that particular spirit connecting to her uh, more strongly is fairly, fairly remote. The spirit's in a place where she's you know, close close to repentance. So, yeah. at the moment, she's not fully in repentance. She's uh, feeling just shocked about meeting her parents and shocked about their condition. She, she expected their condition to be rulers in the spirit world. And the reality is that they're living in a terrible condition that's indescribable, really. But... Uh, yeah. If she does go into full repentance and starts receiving God's love and, and really working on it, yep. how will that affect where she was before? Will that have a ripple effect? Well, the thing is, she's process? never actually been in the spirit world yet. But the other spirits that are earthbound with her, would that be, you know, giving them a, hmm, well, maybe I should check this out? Too. Yeah, it can do, but unfortunately some of those spirits also want power and they're not willing to go through the emotions. So, you know, some of them may just take over the power she had. Mm-hmm. <coughs> yeah. Um, I was wondering about, like, the, the key thing there for me was, like, she wanted to protect us. Yes. Yeah, she had a feeling of justifying her rulership yeah. as a protective yeah as a protective agency. The reality is that she hasn't protected people very much at all. She's been involved in torture, rape and murder. So what was her... Like, what did she think she was protecting us from? Um, a lot of times they think they're protecting you from yourself, <laughs> actually. But, yeah, protecting you from, um, you know... Uh, other people who are more evil and less benevolent than themselves mm-hmm. is their idea. They have no idea of their own. <laughs> but they've got no idea even of their own lack of benevolence. Mm-hmm. Um, the, the reality is that these kind of spirits are the darkest spirits in the spirit world. Like I said, they're the spirits who have a feeling of uh, they have a feeling of demand, mm-hmm. like this is my right, mm-hmm. this is my birthright, that kind of demand. Do they see that we want protection? Of course. But then they get confused, like, because they don't want you to listen to me either. So they get confused about, like, you're not going to be protected if you listen to him. You're only going to be protected if you do what we want you to do, you know, like that kind of thing. But notice she was perfectly happy to use people's fears against them. Um, yeah. Is it wise willingness to face that emotion that helps the spirit face it as well? Yeah, yeah, her, certainly, her willingness. But the reason why I went back to the parents as well was because that was the point. The emotion I could feel in her was her honour of her parents. A lot of people in that place don't have an honour of their parents, but she did. So that's why I took her that to that location. When you're speaking with spirits, you need to feel them fairly strongly if you can and feel what their point of contact is with you. Like, you know, if I went in a different direction with her, um, we wouldn't have had the same response. Yeah, because of the shock. Um, I, I knew it would be shocking for her. So, yeah. 
So will she now progress from being earthbound into the spirit world? Um, it really is uh, too early to tell, would be the best way to put it. Um, there is a likelihood she will, but she has also got quite heavy addictions. Yeah. So the chances of her doing it, uh, you know, th there are a lot of things against her doing it through her addictions. Um, you know how hard it is giving up your addictions and they haven't been anywhere near like hers, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, you know, it's, it's really going to be touch and go for a while, but she is in a space. The shock, the shock has caused her to be in a space of self-reflection and that's a good thing. So, you know, if she stays in that space of self-reflection and listens to the celestial spirits, and I asked a few of the queens, there was Queen Elizabeth and a few other queens that I asked to come to her. Um, and they, they have also been through the same process in the spirit world. So there's a good likelihood of her dealing with something, but only if she doesn't want to stay in her addictions about it. The shock, the shock of her seeing her parents like they are will be a huge impediment for will, sorry, be a huge impetus for her to so continue. In the spirit world, so yeah. she was able to see that with her sister. Yeah, that, they took her to their to their location, and their location was in a very very low place in the hills. <clears throat> they can't maintain their own bodies. They live in filth and squalor. They don't have anybody serving them. They have a record in front of them of every single thing they've done, which they are resistive to actually acknowledging. Um, they, uh, their bodies look like, I don't know, it's hard to describe, but monstrous, I suppose. Um, uh, but, but not even that. Their, their body is falling apart. Like lep leprosy, like you can imagine, of, like just their faces are peeling, peeled off them and their skins peel off them and they don't have clothes and they, yeah, they live in complete squalor. The location where they are is very opposite to what they lived on Earth. The location where they are just stinks like um, and uh, is putrid to smell. Um, yeah, it's very dark. Cause, like, they were in the same or similar condition and their daughter is still earthbound, fearing the spirit. What, what would change? What would the difference? How, why would that be in the spirit? Or if they... they have stopped their earthbound condition. Okay. And what would stop them? Yeah. Um, a lot of different things may have stopped them. Um, <coughs> you know, looking back at their situation, I think they stopped their earthbound condition about 2,000 years ago. Um, the, the main thing that stopped them was they couldn't relate to people on earth very well.